The following video was brought to you with limited sponsor interruption by Richard Allen. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm gonna keep doing something weird until we have an intro every single video. We're just gonna do that. But we're here today to talk about IPOB. It's finally happening guys. Next week is the vote date for IPOB to become open door. And it could be a crazy week for IPOB, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I'm Richard Allen, we talk about stocks on this channel, and this is one of my favorite companies because I think they are going to revolutionize the real estate industry right after all this pandemic stuff is over. They're gonna be buying loads and loads of houses with all this money they have right now. It's really, really exciting, seriously. So, we're talking about IPOB. It's a special pur purpose acquisition company. They are taking over Open Door and Open Door Technologies is a big, big deal. Now, they're the largest in their space. They're the largest eye buyer of real estate. That means they primarily just do, they just buy homes online. You can go online on Open Door. They're active in 21 markets right now. And what they do, you just put in your address and they say, okay, cool, we're gonna come buy your home. You can close the transaction in as little as three days, like from submitting your home to be purchased by Open Door to having a check in your hand in as little as three days. Guys, if, have you bought a home before? Have any of you bought a home? Probably, I hope you're nodding, right? Because most of you out there have signed all those papers to buy a home. And you maybe you still have carpal tunnel <laughs> like it, it is a terribly antiquated process to buy a home. This is a dinosaur of an industry and Open Door will disrupt it. And they are disrupting it already. Open Door focuses purely on buying and selling your homes. They flip your homes, that's it, period. But they're gonna start offering services as well, like insurance and home electronic systems to, to create the smart homes. We talked about that in our last video. Like they're doing some revolutionary things with the internet of things of your home that some of you are like, you have no idea what you're talking about. Well, you're right. I don't know how the internet of things works, but I know that open door is going to be a part of it, but most people aren't talking about that. And that's why I wanted to dig into some of the patent applications and things like that with open door, because I'm excited about this company. I used to be a real estate agent and I understand this business and I understand how disruptive a company like open door could be because honestly, you guys have probably worked with a real estate agent. Most of them aren't that great. And some of you guys are saying, well, there's no way people are gonna buy and sell their homes through Open Door. Like, there's just no way people are gonna do it. Well, I, I would say you were right if they didn't buy and sell 18,000 homes last year. I would say you were right if they didn't have $5 billion worth of revenue. This is a big company. And they're not just, it's not just this baby deal, right? Like this is a big, big deal. So what's happening next week? On Monday, IPOB or Social Capital Heliophosophia Holdings Incorporated released this statement about domestication as described below, open door technologies today, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna read this whole thing to you because it's a boring document. But essentially this says that your shares will be worth a one-to-one -one basis. I saw in the comments earlier that some people think that you only get 60% or 70% of your shares with moat SPACs, and that's just, that's just not the case. From what I know, it's almost always a one-to-one -one basis. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But if you think I'm wrong, show me an example of a SPAC where you didn't get a one-to-one -one share conversion. Because I, from what I've seen in the past, it's always been a one-to-one -one share conversion. So if, if you're worried about that, if you're worried what your shares are gonna be worth, your shares, every share that you have will just convert over to the new ticker symbol. And that new ticker symbol is open. That's it, O-P-E-N. Easiest ticker symbol ever. <laughs> like this, is, this is really, really exciting. Like it, it's a proven fact that ticker symbols that are easy like that, like snow, or open, or AMZN, or, or something that like spells a word, <laughs> like they're, they're actually more popular and tend to gain, gain more traction um, than others. It's a strange, probably psychology thing, but this will have a cool ticker symbol. It will be O-P-E-N. So that's pretty, pretty exciting. But the biggest thing in this document, okay? The last day of trading on the New York Stock Exchange is expected to be December 18th. 
That's specifically for IPOB, okay? And it says pending a transaction with Open Door, which is currently expected to occur on December 18th, 2020, subject to final shareholder approval at SCH, that's the parent company, Open Door, extraordinary general meeting on December 17th. So the 17th is a Thursday. They're expected to vote on the closing of the business, the combination of the business, and then on the 18th, the 18th will be the last day of trading for IBOB before Monday on the 21st, my mom, who isn't with us anymore, that was her birthday, miss my mom. Um, December 21st, Monday, it will finally switch over to the new ticker symbol, O-P-E-N. If you hold this company right now, you don't have to do anything. It's done, right? On Monday the 21st, you will see O-P-E-N in your brokerage account instead of I-P-O-B. That's it, it's that simple, and it's gonna be a one-to-one -one conversion. Again, if you've seen other SPACs in the past that don't do a one-to-one -one conversion, please let me know, but give me an example so I can report it to you guys because I think that's important to note. If people aren't getting a one-to-one -one conversion, I'm not gonna be a part of that SPAC because that's, that's, that's a big deal, okay? It's a really big deal. So, one-to-one -one conversion, you're not gonna have to do anything at all on Monday. It's exciting stuff, that's it, it's that simple. So I did get this email from ARK Invest that I wanna show you quick. And you guys you guys should have these emails too. These are good emails, guys. These are really good emails. IPOB rose 18% on Monday after announcing that its acquisition of Open Door was complete and that it will change its ticker symbol from IPOB to O-P-E-N on December 21st. So the last thing to do is the vote, that's it. That's happening Thursday. Let's look at the chart here real quick. See this gap up from, uh, from Sunday to Monday? Boom, 18%, like she said. And then it jumped up all the way to $27.66. At one point, it was way up there, uh, $27.68, I think. Actually, it reached a high um, on the 9th before consolidating back down to $25. Now. You guys may be asking, what's gonna happen? Is the stock price gonna go down or is it gonna go up after it turns into open? Traditionally, most SPACs go down. They do. It's just, those are just the numbers. But I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not an expert. I'm not a financial advisor. I wish I had a crystal ball. I wish I could tell you what will happen, but I don't know. <laughs> I can tell you that I'm hanging onto my shares I can tell you that I think this is going to be a 25 to a $50 billion company within the next year or two. I can tell you what I feel, what I think might happen. This is a big transaction. And I think, I think this could three to five X in the next year or two, probably in the next year. That's what I think, that's what I feel about this company, but I'm in this for the long term because I think that they're gonna change the real estate game for good. I think this company, the name of the company will become synonymous with buying and selling your home someday. Just like Amazon with, is with, with packages or, or Google is with freaking Googling. Search, what do you call it? <laughs> call it internet searching? <laughs> like I think Open Door will become synonymous with buying and selling your home. I think it will. Now, will there be competition? Absolutely, but Open Door has already pushed some of the competition out. Um, Zillow has has taken a step back from their eye buying. buying. Redfin has also taken a step back from their eye buying. Um, Redfin does very low listing fees. Um, they have their own real estate agents, their own Redfin agents. It's a much different model than Open Door is. Open Door buys and sells homes, but they're going to be offering offering services like we talked about. Um, so their margins right now, their, ex their expected margins just right now are about 5%. Um, but with added services like insurance and, and uh, their title company, there's so many more services that they're going to be offering um, that will be massive in the future. And I think like having someone like Chamath working with the company uh, is going to be a huge asset just from the brains that he has uh, to bring a company into the future. Um, he clearly has a knack for picking companies that uh, can last and that could do something bigger. And uh, I think Open Door is one of those companies. I think this is easily a 10x opportunity. 
um, over the next five years and a three to five year X opportunity within the next year or two. Um, so that's, that's what I'm hoping for, at least for my little investment that I have in this company. It's actually a big investment for me. It's a, it's a good chunk of my portfolio. So you guys need to let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any real estate agents out there. How do you feel about Open Door? Last time I did an IPOB video, uh, a couple real estate agents were like, hey, I'm, I'm, in, I'm invested in this company to hedge my bet against them taking my job away. Like, like, so some of you feel like, okay, this is the end of the real estate agent. Some of you feel like there's no way that people are going to buy and sell their homes to a computer. There's no way. Some of you got mad at my, my analogy of the Gen Z uh, uh, generation saying, you know what? I'm good. I don't want to talk to another human. I'll sell my home on open door. Um, and, and I think our, you know, I have five boys. And as extroverted as I want them to be, right, um, a lot of them are stuck in devices for a good majority of the day, like the rest of us. Elon Musk says it really well that, that we're already living in somewhat of a virtual reality world. We're already connected to our devices in some way, right? We're already at that point where we're kind of like a, a, a cyborg, Right? Like, like if you consider how often we're attached to our devices, how do you feel when you leave your device at home? There's so many people that would get anxiety if that would happen. I, I love being a little bit more disconnected. I would love to go live in the woods and just kind of just chill. Like I love more than anything to go hiking. I, I go hiking with my kids a lot when it's nice out in Minnesota. Not right now, it's terrible. I don't like snowshoeing, that's terrible. But you have to acknowledge the fact that we are getting to a point in our society where we are more and more integrated with our devices, right? And, and if you can acknowledge that fact, you need to try to find companies that will exploit that, that our society is becoming more and more integrated with technology. And Open Door is at the beginning of this process. They have less than a 1% market share. And I think with the right management and the right tech and the right, the, the right uh, policies that they could be a big, 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 big player in the real estate industry. And we're talking about a $1.6 trillion industry just here in the US, a multi-trillion dollar industry worldwide, massive, massive industry that's ripe for disruption. And there are companies that are trying to disrupt it. So I'm done rap ranting about technology. I hope you understand the importance that is this company. I hope you understand. If you disagree with me, please tell me. I love other perspectives. I don't get, I don't, I don't know. Like I don't have an ego about this kind of stuff. You're not gonna hurt my feelings by telling me, hey dude, you're wrong. Because it may give me another perspective. And uh, like I frequently will pin comments at the, top of, at the top of my post. I don't do like other YouTubers do and pin my own comments. I pin your comments. And a lot of times those comments disagree with my opinion in, in, the, in the video because I think people deserve another, another perspective and another opinion. I think it's important for us to have a dialogue and a discourse and make it civil. Try to anyway, if you can. <laughs> But guys, that's it for me for this video. I appreciate you again. We did a live stream just a couple days ago. If you aren't familiar with that, I'll link it in the description below. If you go down there and just comment on the live stream, you're gonna be entered for a chance to win 500 bucks. We're giving away uh, $1,500 to uh, divvy it up between three of you guys just as a thank you for getting me to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So um, thank you so much. Um, hats off to you proverbially because my, uh, my hair is all messy. I'm not going to do that. So guys, thanks so much. As always, if you didn't already do it, click that beautiful red subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next video.